Hey guys, this is Webpeak. Today I would like to show you my solution for the problem 5 in India MO. So let's go through the problem together. We are given a circle gamma and AB is the diameter of the circle. Then we pick a random point C on the circle gamma and project it to the diameter AB. We denote D as the foot of C. Next, we construct a point K on the segment CD such that the semi-parameter of the triangle ADK equals to AC. And then we want to prove that the X circle opposite to A of this triangle ADK is tangent to the big circle gamma. I must admit that when I first saw this problem, I found the condition on this point K very weird. Then after a while, I realized that we don't really care about this point K. What we need to characterize is this X circle IA. And indeed, there is a very natural way to relate the semi-parameter to the X circle. So let's see how we handle it. So since IA is the X circle of the triangle ATK, it touches the side AB, and let's call this point E. It is well known that AE equals to the semi-parameter of the triangle ADK, and by assumption this is AC. So we have AE equals to AC. Moreover, we know that IAD bisect the angle CDE, which is a wide angle. So in particular, the angle IADE equals to 45 degrees. And this implies that IAE equals to DE. So now we have a complete characterization of this X center IA. And what it remains to prove is that OIA, the distance between O and IA, equals to R minus RA. So here the capital R represents the radius of the big circle gamma and RA is the radius of the X circle. Then now we introduce some coordinate system and we can evaluate these terms one by one. So let's call AD equals to X and in particular X is between 0 and 2R. Now by simple uh, similarity argument, we have AC square equals to AD times AB. And this implies that AC equals to the square root of 2RX. So now we have AC, which is equals to AE. Then we can evaluate DE. So DE is nothing but AE minus AD which is square root of 2rx minus x. And in particular, we remark that this term is uh, strictly larger than zero. So this represents a length. And since IAE equals to DE, this is nothing but RA. Then now it remains to evaluate the distance between O and IA. And this is not that hard because OIA square equals to IAE square plus uh, OE square. And we know that IAE is RA, so this is RA square plus OE square. Then we just need to evaluate OE, which is the difference between AE and AO. So here I use a vector-wise notation because uh, otherwise you need to distinguish the case that AE is larger than AO or smaller than it. But using the absolute value solves this problem. So OE is the absolute value of the difference between square root of 2RX and R. Then now we just need to plug in all this term and check that uh, indeed the relation we want holds. So what we need to check is RA square plus OE square, which is square root of 2RX minus R, the whole thing square. This is OIA square. And we want to prove that this is R minus RA square. 
Well, now the problem becomes an algebra problem, and it is really easy to check that this identity holds. So that's it. I usually don't use a coordinate system to solve geometric problem, but in this problem, I found it really straightforward. So don't be afraid to use algebra tricks because they do the job as well as geometric solution. Finally, I want to mention that I have recently created a Discord uh, channel. So if you want to chat with me or have any questions, feel free to join the channel and take a look on it. Thank you. Bye bye.